Hey there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of July the 22nd through to the 28th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, lay them all out, see what's going on for the Scorps. First up, we have the Eight of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Knight of Swords upright. And next we have the Six of Swords in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana of the Moon reversed. And lastly, we have Major Arcana of the Hierophant in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, you have the uh, Eight of Cups in the upright position, Scorpio, for your overall energy. I think uh, Aries got this too, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, the Eight of Cups is sort of that... Um, soul searching kind of energy that vision quest where we're off uh looking for something to emotionally fulfill us that's what the eight of cups is kind of about this is where we're very satisfied with the emotional fulfillment we get from family from friends and so forth for some of you say for example who are single maybe what it is you're missing is that one-on-one -on -one relationship and that's what you're on this vision quest looking for uh, for others of you, it could be some kind of emotional fulfillment in terms of uh, some people get their emotional fulfillment from their hobbies, from their careers, from what have you. So it could be that there's something missing on the emotional front. And Scorpio this week is on the hunt for it. <laughs> Coming right off the hop, we have the energies of the Knight of Swords in the upright position. Ooh, this gives me such rushed out energy. The Knight of Swords, well, it is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Now, the uh, Knight of Swords rushes in very quickly, sometimes coming out of nowhere, could come in. This could be a romantic suitor for some of you, if that's what you're looking for. This could be a person rushing in. Um, with a lot of information, could be wanting to ask you out, could be wanting to sign a contract. Uh, this could be for some of you definitely, if you're looking say for work or a career or something like that, there could be news coming, rushing in right at the beginning of the week. Um, he's in the upright at least, considering his Mercury retrograde. So at least the information he's bringing in will be swift. Um, it'll be very straightforward and to the point. The Knight of Swords doesn't really mince his words, just like the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. This person comes in, it could be an offer, could be a verbal offer, could be a, a written offer. It's coming towards you, uh, Scorpio. Again, could be representing your career or love life. It's gonna be different for all of you because it's just a general read. But there is uh, someone rushing right towards you and then it's paired up with the Six of Swords in the upright position. The Six of Swords represents that moving on energy. Sometimes this can represent moving away from turbulent emotional waters. For some of you, perhaps this Knight of Swords rushes in and helps take you, you know, to a better, if this is a romantic suitor, it could be helping you to maybe uh, heal or overcome from emotional turmoil and difficulties from the past. Perhaps this person is rushing in with information that you needed to understand in order to put the emotional drama behind you. Uh, for others of you, this information could represent travel and movement, like literal travel. Maybe some of you are signing a contract to move away, move out of state, move out of country even. Uh, you could be signing a contract to move or you could be uh, traveling because the Six of Swords can also represent travel. So perhaps this information that comes in very quickly could propel you to need to take a quick trip somewhere. Now moving on towards the weekend, we have the Pisces card, the moon in the reverse position. The moon in the upright position can um, be very confusing energy, can sometimes point to deception, self-deception, uh, things not being very clear. When the card is inverted like this, there is clarity coming through. It looks like there's a clarifying conversation or very important news that comes in at the beginning of the week. And it looks like Scorpio now uh, has the clarity and the understanding to be able to you know, make decisions because it looks like a big decision is coming. 
because the last card you have up is the Taurus card here, the Hierophant in the upright position, which points to commitment signing contracts. So it looks like there could be something swiftly coming in towards you, Scorpio, whether it be a romantic suitor and this person wants to be serious and, you know, have your relationship move very quickly to a committed one, or it could be for some of you, this is a, uh, a, a work or career situation where something comes in, uh, some information comes in, it propels you to and it's very clarifying uh, information. So you're very clear. It looks like whatever decision it is you're making is because it's based on something that's super clear. So for some of you, I wonder if you do find what you're looking for, and maybe that's what you were looking for, this new information to come in, and it brings you right towards this commitment. This commitment could be anything from, say, a, a short-term contract to a long-term contract, uh, a marriage to uh, a new, perhaps um, aligning yourself with a new spiritual uh, congregation or even religious congregation can represent a government term position or something like that, working at the school. However um, you look at it, it's a pretty interesting week. It looks like there's uh, something pretty serious going on here for some of you Scorpios. You'll have to uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below if this is resonating for you and how so. Because it looks like whatever this is, it just it happens like at the drop of dime. Like it's it's happening very quickly. This person is rushing in with fast information or a fast offer, and it looks like uh, the, the conditions seem to be very clear cut. And so you're ready to jump in. It looks like with both feet, Scorpio. And in closing, I'm going to pull an oracle card for you guys to give your message. And here is your message, joy. There you go. Maybe you do find what you're looking for here, Scorpio. Looks like you're jumping in both with both feet on this because you have extreme clarity. So that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.